Shalom. All praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh Bashma Washai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. And I want to say Thawada, Yahweh Bashma Washai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, for giving us the correct understanding of the Holy Bible through your men, by being the apostles and bishops of Grey Millstone, who are worthy of double honors. And Yahweh Bashma Washai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, Bakatham, to the elect of Israel. So I just stumbled upon this video from the ISUPK Indianapolis. And uh, by the way, the ISUPK is headed by uh, General Yohanna, okay, which is not a man of the Lord. He's a false prophet, he's a false teacher, and he's a false leader. And, um, you know, it's our job to give you Israelites out there warning of characters like that. Um, individuals like Johanna and General Bishop um, Nathaniel of the IUIC because you know these individuals are breaking down the scriptures the wrong way especially as it pertains to Bible prophecy such as uh, the prophecy concerning the mark of the beast okay and um, you know it's very important that you Israelites out there uh, take heed to our warnings concerning these individuals because you know following them may lead to your demise may lead to your destruction okay especially if you follow their teachings concerning this prophecy as it pertains to the mark of the beast okay you know our lord taught us to uh, watch out for these false prophets these ravening wolves you know when you go to um matthew 7 I believe the point is in verse 13 on down. And then also, um, you got Malachi chapter 3, where our Lord said, you know, that we would return in terms of returning back to this truth, you know, returning back to our true nationality, returning to our power, our true our true God, that being Yahweh Bashma was Shai, you know, his laws, statute commandments. But he also said that we would discern between them that serve the Most High and them that don't serve the Most High between the righteous and the wicked. So, you know, this is why we do uh, lessons like this that I'm doing here, you know, to give you warning of these individuals, to give you warning of these false prophets. Again, such as uh, so-called General Johanna of the ISUPK and his underlings, as well as individuals such as General Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC, okay? Because as it stands, neither of these men are men of the Lord, okay? And they're breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, especially as it pertains to the, the prophecy concerning the mark of the beast. Anyway, I just stumbled upon this video, um, again, from ISUPK Indianapolis. I was about 10 seconds in, and I had to stop it because he's breaking down the image of the beast all the way wrong. So I thought, you know, I'll just turn on the camera and say a few words and, you know, hopefully edify the elect of you Israelites out there that may be watching our videos or that may just, you know, be stumbling upon, you know, these various different videos from, you know, the different Israelite camps, right, concerning Bible prophecy. Anyway, Without further ado, I'm just going to play this video and um, I guess take it from there and give you the correct understanding on, you know, this whole topic concerning the mark of the beast and the image of the beast. Okay. So if you can't show me where Christ got blonde hair and blue eyes, who's this? Right. This, can't, this ain't Christ thing. Where did they get this image from? This is the image of the beast. Right. So you just heard him say that the image in which, you know, you've got this individual, um, he's pretty much standing in front of uh, this sign that says Christianity 666. And it has a picture of, you know, the false Messiah, you know, the so-called white Jesus Christ. Okay. Which really goes back to Caesar Borgia which really goes back to um, the deity Serapis Christus. Anyway, as you heard this guy say, he said that this is the image of the beast. 
that's incorrect okay the image of the beast that the apostle john saw uh, i believe that's revelation chapter 13 and verse 15 where it says how you know this soak worm man had power to give life unto the image of the beast that it should both speak well that's speaking about how um our heavenly father yahweh through his son yahweh shai on the left hand side the left hand side of course being the spiritual demon satan has given the so-called white man the power to revive the ancient greco-roman empire okay in every facet what you can say is that um this current system or this current society that we live in especially over here in america is pretty much based on the ancient roman empire okay it's a spitting image of the ancient greco-roman empire and there's many examples and one example that comes to mind right now uh, that i can give you off of the top of my head is uh the american senate guess what that goes back to the ancient roman empire okay that's just one example um the buildings you know the buildings when you go down to uh dc washington dc that is you know when you go down to capitol hill and whatnot just look at the architecture okay it's all based on the ancient roman empire um another example is these different modern day stadiums okay the modern day sports stadiums and whatnot well guess what you had that back in the ancient roman empire they were called amphitheaters okay so again the image of the beast is pretty much um speaking about this system that goes back to the ancient roman empire okay it's not the image of caesar borgia or jesus christ or serapis christus and when you worship you know uh, the image of the beast because it says that too when you go to revelation 13 and 15 pardon me you know i don't have my scriptures here i'm just going off, off the top of my head uh, yeah. again you know this is impromptu but anyway you know where it says the worshiping of the beast that's speaking about people giving their mind body and soul over to this system all right being fully joined onto um this beast system okay especially via the microchip implant when that's implemented when that's mandatory okay so that's the true understanding of what the image of the beast is okay that's what the bible calls the image of the beast you got the mark of the beast in the bible and the image of the beast in Revelation. now of course we know that we know what the mark of the beast is speaking about revelation 13 and 16 we know it off by heart and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads the he is speaking about the so-called white man esau edom the edomites but in particular is speaking about their uh, ruling elite families such as the rothschild family okay such as the oppenheimers so on and so forth the rockefellers the people that control run and govern this world as a shadow government okay you see right now we're coming into a time where the elite of esau edom they're getting ready to establish their new world order throughout the globe okay and within their new world order everything is going to be digital they're going to do away with uh paper money paper cash so your cash is going to go digital hence why there's so much talk about you know the cbdc's which stands for central bank digital currencies okay and pretty much at the helm of their new world order is going to be their device that they're going to use to control enslave and pretty much be a god over the masses of people okay and that device is going to come in the form of a microchip implant which is the mark okay that's the mark and you know it goes on to say in verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name yeah because pretty much we're coming to a time where 
in order to be a part of Esau's uh, Great Reset or his New World Order, which he's branding as the Great Reset. You know, he's also branding it as the Fourth Industrial Revolution, which the Fourth Industrial Revolution is the merging of man and technology. Okay. And again, at the helm of that um, merging is the microchip implant. So in order to be a part of that system, okay, this up and coming system that Esau is bringing, this new world order, you're going to have to have that microchip implant. Okay. You're not going to be able to buy or sell or do any forms of business, you know, whether it be paying for rent, uh, going to school, going to college, university, being treated at hospitals without having that microchip implant. Okay, and that's why our Lord spoke about the time that we're coming into as, you know, the hour of temptation, pursuant to Revelation 3 and verse 10. All right, so we're coming to a time where we're, we're going to have to put all our trust and our faith in the hour of Bashmah Shai. You know, to get us through that time. Hence what it says in um, Isaiah 10 and verse 20. You can look that up for yourself. Um, let's continue on. That this is the oppressor. He's a beastly guy. He kills, steals, Vikings, killing their families, Native Americans, killing Native Americans, whipping black people, boiling them pots of uh, and oil, and ripping their bodies apart. He do beastly things. That's why the Bible called him the beast. The Romans used to crucify people. Said now, you know, this individual is partly right, you know, on what, on what he's saying concerning Esau, Edom, the Edomites being uh, beastly. But the beast itself that the Apostle John saw, again, in his vision, over 2,000 years ago on the Isle of Patmos, um, recorded in Revelation 13, um, 15, 16, 17 and 18 The beast that he was referring to Was, you know, the ancient Roman Empire Okay, and how it's been revived Reborn, if you will Or reincarnated In the form of NATO Which stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization Which is the military end of Esau's Beast system Followed by the European Union, which is pretty much the economical and political side of his B system, being spearheaded by America. Okay, so that's what makes up the beast. Okay, NATO, the EU, and the European, pardon me, <laughs> NATO, the EU, and America. That's what makes up the beast. Okay, now, like I said, this individual was correct in the sense of Esau, the people, the Edomites, the so-called white people being beastly in nature. But, you know, as it pertains to the beast that the Apostle John saw, you know, is really referring to his power system. OK. The structure of this man's um, system. Which, again, is um, NATO, the EU. And America, you know, America, the whore that sitteth on top of the beast. You read about that in uh, Revelation chapter 17 and verse 16, which is about to be destroyed. Okay, as soon as Esau implements this microchip implant, makes it mandatory throughout the world. You know, shortly after that is going to come the destruction of his beast system, primarily America, Babylon the Great, the whore that sitteth on top of of the beast all right and that destruction is going to come in the form of world war three um you know and these different nations around the world such as russia china north korea iran and even some of america's own allies you know whether it be um great britain germany france you know pursuant to revelation 17 and 16 they're all going to shoot their nuclear missiles upon america Okay, completely and utterly destroying this this beast system as a whole, alongside the visitation of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai with the holy angels. Okay, and what people out there call uh, the UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Okay, that's all gonna culminate to the destruction of Esau's beast system, and so the nuclear missiles alongside the laser beams of our Lord. 
that's going to come out of those chariots. That's what's going to turn America into a lake of fire. Okay, you read about the lake of fire when you go to Revelation, the 19th chapter. And when you go to the 20th chapter, Revelation 20, and I believe verse 15. Okay, it speaks about how Babylon the Great, you know, was turned into a lake of fire. And pretty much, you know, anyone, but our main concern is our people, the Hebrew Israelites. Any of you Israelites out there that you join yourself onto Esau's system via the microchip implant, the mark, the mark of the beast, you're going to be destroyed in that destruction. Okay, hence Revelation 14 verses 9 and 10. Okay, it speaks about those that worshipped the image of the beast, meaning they joined themselves unto Esau's system via that mark. Okay, via that microchip implant. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. All right, roughly paraphrasing, that is poured out without mixture. And they're going to be burned in the presence of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels. So that's what I'm speaking about, man. And this is why we're warning our people, you know, about this prophecy, because it's very serious. Okay, Malachi 4 verse 1, Behold the day that cometh, that shall burn as an oven. So it goes deeper than, you know, <laughs> this man being a beasty man, so to speak. Take a person and stick nails to him and put him on a post and let him sit there till they die. That's the beast, because he's like an animal. We wouldn't do that to a person, but the beast, he will. He's a beast. This is the beast's image. That's why the Bible say, if you worship the image of the beast, he calls both big and small to worship the image of the beast. When you worship this image... See, he's going off. That's not, that's, not, that's not what is meant by worshiping the image of the beast. Okay? The worshiping of the image of the beast... Is speaking about you wholeheartedly giving your mind, body, and soul over to this system, okay, in every facet of your life, okay, especially as it pertains to receiving uh, that device, the microchip implant, when when it's implemented. Anyway, you know, again, this is just impromptu. You know, I saw it, I stumbled upon it. I guess this video was put up by them four days ago. So I thought, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll share this video with you and hopefully, you know, give you the correct understanding on, on this whole topic, you know, as briefly as possible. Anyway, you know, I pray and hope that you brothers and sisters out there were edified and Lord willing, I'll come back with another lesson concerning, you know, the image of the beast. With that, I'll say Shalom.